Hey there, Ayurveda Everyday with Talia. Talia here. So I am making a vitality session video. Hello, this is the vitality sessions. <laughs> and um, I've heard that it is crazy super hot in many places around the world. Um, I personally took myself on a personal retreat this week. I'm in the tropics and there's a heat wave here in the tropics and it's like, OMG, it's so hot. <laughs> I was so hot last night that um, I couldn't even use my computer in the um, in my hotel room because, or whatever, it's not a hotel condo, um, because it was so hot in the room <laughs> that, it, that the computer was like, cannot work, cannot process. So this vitality session is called three things you can do to beat the heat. Three surefire things you can do to beat the heat with Ayurveda. And the first tip I want to give you is actually a little bit unusual, but it's so, so amazing. So, because I'm going to talk about food, but before I get to food, I want to talk about one body care practice. Now, this is especially true if the heat that you're in is hot, humid, wet heat, like it is in the tropics, but I know it's like this in Texas and, um, you know, New York. So, if you can make a salt scrub, which is basically just taking, you know, refined sea salt from the bulk bin at your grocery store, um, mixing it with some oil. Like I would use something really light and cooling. So either coconut oil that is liquefied, you could just melt it. If it's that hot outside, it'll easily melt. Grapeseed oil because it's a little bit bitter um, and it's very lightweight, so it won't add too much. You know, you don't want to use oil that's going to add like, ugh, like gunkiness to you. Or you could use sunflower oil. So basically, you take about a pound of sea salt, you mix it with as much oil as you need to until it makes a paste that's the same consistency as wet sand. So it's it's wet with the oil, but it's not crazy oily. Um, and then you add cooling essential oils to that. So if you're using a whole pound of sea salt, you can add up to 40 drops of cooling essential oils. And essential oils are volatile oils, which means as soon as they make contact with your bloodstream, they go straight to work. Like you don't have to digest them. They just go straight to changing your body's chemistry. So a couple of my favorite or a few of my favorite cooling essential oils include peppermint, although I do not recommend that you use 40 drops of peppermint. I would keep the max of peppermint to like probably no more than 14 drops. Um, uh, lavender, frankincense, sandalwood, grapefruit, um, cypress. So, you know, here's, here's an example of a recipe that you could use is like, okay, I'm gonna do 14 drops of peppermint, 14 drops of lavender, 12 drops of sandalwood, or 12 drops of lavender, 12 drops of cypress, and 18 drops grapefruit. Like play with it, see what you already have around, because I don't know, you might not already play with essential oils, but that's a huge part of um, my training in Ayurveda is using essential oils um, from an Ayurvedic perspective, which is the same way that we would use food and herbs and drinks, um, exact same concept. But I'm telling you, a cooling salt scrub is so profound because it opens up your lymphatic system, which tends to get really bogged down when you're hot. That's partly why you won't have any energy and just be like, oh, I'm so lethargic. I just can't even move. So this is a way that you open up things. You breathe, which is your greatest anti-inflammatory um, you know, power in the world is your own breath, oxygen. But it gets you breathing, it gets your blood moving, and it really cools you down. In fact, one thing that I do, although I did not bring it with me on this trip because I I was like so looking forward to the heat, so I wasn't thinking I was going to try to cool down. Um, but sometimes I travel with a little tiny bottle of pure essential oil, um, peppermint essential oil. And when it's really hot, like crazy hot, I'll put one or two drops on the palm of my hand and rub it onto the back of my neck. And it's like having your own personal air conditioner. So there's another tip for you. Okay, so that was tip number one. Tip number two is to be drinking cool astringent drinks. So if you've studied Ayurveda at all, um, or 
it's okay if you haven't because I have my free Detox Your Body with Ayurveda boot camp coming up in just a little over a week. And we're going to dive into so much great stuff. Um, but if you've studied Ayurveda at all, Ayurvedic nutrition, then you know that there are six tastes to Ayurvedic nutrition. And one of them is astringent. The taste of astringent, astringent is cold and dry. And when it's super hot like this, like it's humid heat, um, but even you could even use this even if you're somewhere like Utah or New Mexico and it's more dry desert heat, um, the taste of astringent just cools your body down. It helps release excess fire and it helps release excess anything really is what it does. So here's a few examples of astringent drinks that will be really easy for you to find um, and create. So one is hibiscus tea. This is a really amazing drink. Um, actually, I don't know if I've seen it in the tropics where I am now, but agua de jamaica, I think is how it's pronounced, um, is like a hibiscus water. And you can make a sun tea of just dried hibiscus flowers in a big vat of water, or you can just buy some hibiscus tea and make tea and let it cool down. That is amazing for beating the heat. Another great astringent drink for beating the heat is aloe vera juice, um, which is actually not only astringent, it's also bitter. And bitter is the other taste in Ayurvedic nutrition that is both cold and dry. So a, a drink or an herb that combines those two tastes is epic for beating the heat in your own body, reducing inflammation. One of my favorite things to drink when it's really hot is coconut water which is the same thing as coconut juice. It's the clear, sweet liquid that comes out of a young coconut, not coconut milk. Um, I'll do that and I'll mix it with some kind of green superfood powder. So um, those of you who have participated in any of my courses know that I'm a huge fan of Vitamineral Green. I also love Billy's Infinity Greens. He's got a 10% off sale this weekend, which I posted a coupon to inside this group today. Um, whatever the day is today, Saturday, September 14th, I think. Um, you could just do plain spirulina, plain chlorella, as long as they're powdered, and um, even liquid chlorophyll in coconut water. The more greens that you add, the, the more cooling agents you'll be adding to the coconut juice, which is nature's electrolyte. So with all the sweating that we're doing when we're like in a really hot environment, that coconut water or coconut juice, same thing, um, is really replenishing the fluids that you're losing. Okay, that's tip number two. So tip number three is, of course, we got to talk about food. So um, lettuce. <laughs> lettuce, 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 lettuce. You could just be eating lettuce with like everything. It has so much water. It's bitter and astringent. So same thing as with those drinks. Um, it's just so powerful and it's so overlooked as a cooling food. I feel like it's overlooked as a food period, but that's one of my top um, vegetables to eat when it's really hot. Also celery because it's going to replenish electrolytes, same way that coconut water does. Um, it's got a ton of potassium, which is really great for when you're sweating a lot or when you run dry and hot anyway. Um, and mint and cucumber. Right, so here's what I do when I'm traveling, and this is totally going on in my kitchen right now. I get a cucumber and I get a, a bunch of fresh mint. This is a reason why I love to grow fresh mint. It's so easy to grow, it grows pretty much anywhere. And then you always have it for when there's a heat wave or you're going through something inside yourself that you've got a lot of inflammation. So I just pick off like, you know, four, five, six sprigs of mint, so not leaves, actually like the this, this stem with the leaves on them, and like half a cucumber, I'll put it in a pitcher of water and I'll just let it sit there for 30 minutes, and then that's what I'm drinking all day long. Just keep refilling the water in that pitcher and just replenishing, replenishing all day long. It's seriously such a game changer. And back to that peppermint essential oil, if you've got a really good quality one, that is certified pure therapeutic grade, like the ones from doTERRA, which I sell in my shop, um, ayurvedaeveryday.shop. Um, you could add one drop of peppermint essential oil to that pitcher of water, and that will last you all day as well. So 
I hope this helps you beat the heat. It's certainly helping me. And I'll see you very soon in the next Vitality session. And if you are in this group and you have not yet joined the Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Bootcamp, please go ahead and do that. I've got the link um, all over this group's Facebook page, but specifically the banner at the top of our page. If you open that up, the link is there so that you can join the boot camp because it's not enough to just be in this group. You actually want to get the daily emails where I tell you, um, not tell you, but I give you all these accompanying PDFs and handouts and bonuses that go with my daily videos inside the free five-day Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Bootcamp. So thanks so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.